Well, this species uh, has declined over the last 30 years um, tremendously. It was very common in the upper elevations um, for many years, and then about the 1970s, it started to decline, and, and now we're at like a critical point where there's probably less than 300 adults remaining in the wild, and they're spread across three mountain ranges and nine locations. And so some of the populations have less than 10 individuals at them. Um, so it's in a really um, critical point right now where it could blink out in a single year. And so we have started this restoration program with uh, many, many partners. And uh, there's a, a bunch of different um, actions that we're taking from restoration at the sites to doing the captive breeding and releasing um, in hopes that we can stabilize the populations we have as our first objective and then create new populations where they historically used to occur. It's a combination. We've been, um, USGS has been doing the monitoring of the species as a whole and at all the sites that exist and we've been doing that since 2000. So this is our 13th year. Um, the monitoring at this specific release site is going to be a combination of USGS and the San Diego Zoo Institute for Conservation Research, where USGS is going to has a radio telemetry project on a subset of the frogs, so that we better understand um, how these frogs respond to this new environment. Um, in addition to that, the San Diego Zoo is going to be doing visual surveys um, that will include frogs that don't have radios on them as well to kind of keep track of where they're at and how they're doing.